I'm Melanie Wise, I'm the CEO of Fetch Robotics and I love building robots and making them do real things. When I was a kid, I, I just was really good at math. My dad was a big person to like get me into math and science. We would get the Edmund Scientific Catalog. Um, this is when you still bought things in catalogs. Uh, um, he would let me pick out different things and I picked like a line follower. But it, it was always frustrating to me because it was just like you soldered everything together and you never actually got to figure out why it worked. Um, so I was always trying to figure out why things worked. In college, I went to University of Illinois and I had three internships at three different companies. My internships were interesting, but it wasn't very inspiring to go to these companies and see where women ended up. Maybe that's really a bad way of looking at it, but there weren't that many women in a lot of the companies I worked at, and the roles that they had were unfortunate. It felt like they had hit a glass ceiling really early. One of the companies I worked at, um, there was this woman there who had been working there for like 25 years, and she kind of had been hoping to be promoted for a fellow, and everyone knew she should have been a fellow. And I, you know, I asked, you know, why is she still like this mid-level senior engineer? And they were like, yeah, women don't really get promoted at this company. And that was discouraging. I, I came out here to work on an autonomous car, and I happened to run into someone who was starting what would be considered one of the world-class institutions in robotics. And that was blind luck. I moved out to California so fast that I would sleep in the office. Uh, I mean, it was, it was crazy. I did a lot of things at Willow. I became the robot development manager. I wrote the original controllers for the PR2. I worked on a lot of the code for the robot plugging itself in. Over a short period of like uh, nine months, I wrote probably like 100, 150 tutorials for ROTS. The robot operating system, it's kind of a, a set of tools and libraries for doing robotics. At Willow, I used to like work on all my code privately and wait until it was absolutely perfect before showing it to anyone. It's weird, but that's, and I did that for a very long time. I, I was very self-conscious and very concerned that people were gonna find out that I, I sucked. One of the biggest problems um, with women, but also a lot of people in tech, is imposter syndrome. They tend to hesitate, they tend to not show off their work soon enough. And, you know, if you are in a culture where, you know, basically promoting yourself is, you know, a first priority, that's a problem. We went on to create Fetch Robotics. Fetch Robotics designs robotic solutions for the logistics industry. If you look at picking, um, when people are picking in warehouses, 50% of their activity is doing transportation. Fetch uh, basically does the picking task, and the freight drives from one fetch to another, getting the goods, and then they go to shipping, and they end up hopefully in a box, and they come to you in your home. I think the important thing is just not to settle. Um, I, I, I think that you can find a good fit in a corporation. Um, I didn't. One of the most frustrating and like demeaning experiences I've ever had, when I first started at a company, um, one of the engineers like had absolutely no respect for me. Um, and I asked him directly, I was like, why? You know, and he said, well, all the other women I've ever worked with were completely useless. So I just assumed that all women were useless. And, and I was like, Wow, dude, um, I thought they could go F themselves, honestly. <laughs> I mean, that's terrible, but I, I don't know. I guess I just always, my opinion was, they're not gonna move out of the way, but why should I stop going? <laughs> <laughs>